Koku, what are you doing? <laughs> You're getting wet. Now you have your baby. Where's your bone? You're soaking wet. <laughs> I'm out here taking pictures of the earrings for reals. What are you doing, baby? Time to work out. Mommy's helper. so we are back in las vegas and boy did i eat everything i wanted to when i went back home for a couple of days and now that i'm back in las vegas i'm trying to get back into my routine here waking up and doing some kind of workout and this day i decided to just bring my mat and mirror to the back patio and have some outside time with Hoku. As you see, she really, really enjoys when we get outside for a workout. She likes to bring out her babies and hang out on the yoga mat with me. And ever since the holiday season, I've been dealing with depression and I feel like my depression is a functional depression and I don't know if there's such thing by nature i'm a very motivated person if you've been watching me on my channels for quite some time i really maximize my days and dealing with depression and with my personality i'm still able to get out of bed and go along with my day um, but there is definitely moments where i see my depression take over me because I'm such a very social person, moments like this, I just want to stay home and just be home with Hoku and to myself, not surrounding myself around the public as I do entertain the public every night when I'm in Las Vegas. So it's definitely something that I see myself avoiding is leaving the house and just kind of keeping to myself especially since a chunk of my day is working from home it's definitely easy for me to just kind of hibernate and isolate myself and it's a combination i feel like of being away from home and also dealing with personal issues and not having any kind of physical support system it's kind of like a balancing act on trying to take care of myself because I'm living alone and doing everything on my own and also being able to go through life's ups and downs without having any family or friends nearby since I left the islands and especially when I come back from a trip from visiting home it definitely kind of settles in that I am far from home I'm away from my support system but luckily having Hoku with me after Ebby's passing has been able to help me to get out of bed. I hope my vlogs are comforting and know that you are not alone. Alright, we are back home from our neighborhood grocery store. I want to do a little haul, which I love doing because I'm always trying new things. I've never seen the Agra Fresca Pineapple for Chata. I'm super excited about this. Got did you get a? Yeah, I did, Grandma. <laughs> That's all she cares about. I got Grandma uh, Zero Sugar Lemonade, Grandma. I, of course, we have to have mushrooms in the house. Grandma needed onions. Of course, need evaporated milk for Egyptian tea. I got four cans. Grandma's eggs, which by the way, when we go back to Santa Monica, we can get eggs from our neighbor's chickens. Yeah, I got a big piece of I got some salmon. And hey. carrots, because Grandma wanted for cone sushi when we do market next weekend in Long Beach. I also... got the caramel oat latte, which I've never tried before. And I always rotate between almond and oat milk. This one is almond milk toasted coconut. And I have a protein shake. Also, I really like this plant-based brand. So I got this. We've tried the grounds from this brand, but they also now have chicken, plant-based chicken. So I wanted to try that out. And then I've never tried this before. 
in this brand so I'm kind of curious so that's today's haul and we will be using these plastic bags for trash and what do you guys think about the plant-based meat that I got in today's haul super excited to no. try them and Hoku is bossing grandma you know too bad she don't like carrots you know I can try Hoku, do you want to try a carrot? When I last gave it to her, she didn't seem interested. Hoku, look. Come here. Come. Go, Go, come, come. Here, look. Go, mommy. She's probably thinking, what is this orange thing? You have to learn to love carrots. Uh, cooking the plant-based chicken, how does it look? Right, go. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to see. Grandma's cutting up the vegetables and I'm gonna eat this with the Trader Joe's mushroom risotto. Can't wait to try the plant-based chicken. Put the it could be a thing, you know? Put the microwave on. Shout out to my grandma. Is she is. is the best assistant. She is always there for me, cooking, doing the laundry, getting things ready for the market. Grammy, what are you making in the rice cooker on the stove? My Mexican food. Oh. Mm. Show you in pepper and salt. Okay? I'm gonna use pepper. Okay. Love it? Do you love it, baby? Wow! Yeah! Okay. I guess I'll show you. I think she's. Of course, she gotta be on your foot at all times. I know. <laughs> You're making grandma's slipper all full of carrot bits. Oh, any kind of rubbish. Okay, look! Hoku's first carrot. You never liked it until just right at this second. Wow. Do you love it? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Wow. You're a strong girl. You eat your vegetables. <laughs> okay, vlog. So, Grandma fried up the plant based chicken. And I'm pretty impressed because the other brand that I was buying from our neighborhood grocery store in Santa Monica, they discontinued it. And I never came across another plant-based chicken, but this one is really good. And then just having it with the mushroom risotto from TJ's. My mom just called and now we're doing high tea today before I go to work. Mm. So now I'm gonna edit for a little bit and then get ready to work and we'll go to afternoon tea. That was really easy, yeah, Grandma, to cook. I'm happy. Mm, how's the lemonade? So being a daily uploader on YouTube, this is what I do every day. I spend a chunk of my time during the day before I dance and at night editing for the channels. But this day, my mom wanted us to go on a little afternoon high tea. If you've been watching the channels, I love doing high teas around the world. And my grandma and my mom enjoys high tea as well. And this particular spot is dog friendly, so Hoku's able to come. When Ebby was with us, she would also hang out, and of course, Petty. And it's a nice way for us to kind of just take a break from our busy day and enjoy a little moment over little finger sandwiches and scones and sweets. And this is my mom's favorite place for afternoon tea. They have amazing soups as well. And we're just kind of able to have some family time, especially since I do travel a lot and my schedule is busy. My mom is busy with all of our restaurants every day since we are open every day. This is a great way for us to kind of treat ourselves and spend quality times between three generations because grandma's here with us and she's always going back and forth between Hawaii and being here with me in the mainland so when grandma's in town it's always nice for the three of us to go out and dress up for some afternoon tea and i know i am not supposed to have milk and honey in this type of tea but i still like it anyway and i just make sure that i constantly stir my tea as i love milk and honey with any kind of tea 
and this is very fun for me because I'm able to have family time while still on a busy busy schedule in Las Vegas and we try to do this every so often and my mom really likes this place because of the soups and the owner is super friendly it's just the right amount of food if you do not eat anything and you save your appetite for afternoon high tea so that's definitely a little insider tip if you do afternoon tea do not eat anything so that you can enjoy all three tiers and we'll see when we come back to this place again i feel like we are at least coming here several times throughout the year but going to afternoon high tea wherever i travel around the world is very fun for me and very eventful and I guess this day I decided to wear my vintage pullover. I can't remember where I got this one, maybe in Arizona or at the Rose Bowl, but I love vintage pullovers and this one is perfect for this time of the year as it's spring in Las Vegas and I really like that rosy pink color with the embroidery. Comment down below if you love doing afternoon high tea or this is something that you would love to do personally for me if i'm traveling around the world by myself i make it a point to go and research where is the best place for afternoon high tea and treat myself it is definitely one of my favorite things to do when i travel and i usually try to purchase the tea that i choose over my afternoon high tea to add to my personal collection back in santa monica and to be able to do afternoon high tea with my family is also fun as well since they enjoy the same things as me. This is a perfect way to have some ohana time. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me over afternoon high tea. It's nice to be able to dress up and get out of the house. This has definitely helped with my mental health that day as I literally just wanted to stay home until I go in for work. One of my favorite things about afternoon high tea is that there's a little bit of everything. So you have your finger sandwiches, you have your scones, and then you top it off with ending with sweets. And you never know what you're going to get when you go to an afternoon high tea. And for this particular one, I think I just took it home and ate it after work. But cheers to another afternoon high tea with my family. It's always a sweet time to be able to enjoy a little moment with them. Where's your baby? Where is your baby? Oh, when you come home, get to I see your baby. Where's your baby? Hmm? All right, so here's a little glimpse of part of some of the shows this night, I usually dance anywhere from three to six shows every night because I dance to copyright music. This is the best I can do if you guys have been watching the channels, you're familiar of this. So hope you guys enjoy seeing a little glimpse of Jessica and I on the stage and we have our light up wings and it is definitely different from where we've been dancing at our original location and also we will not be going back to our original location once it's rebuilt with a stage so we like to take a little moment on the stage while we have it and it's nice to be able to dance together since we didn't have a lot of that at our original location So one of my favorite things about performing in the public is being able to feed off of the audience's energy which is a hit and miss when it comes to belly dancing if you are not dancing for people of the culture. 
and being in Las Vegas, you just never know what you're going to get. I try my best to convince people to get up and dance with me. It doesn't matter if you're a dancer or not. It's all about just being in the moment and having fun. This is definitely a type of environment where you can just get up and dance with no judgment and be able to dance with the belly dancer. So this is our floor time and I enjoy getting up people one at a time to dance with me and you just never know who's going to be willing and able to dance with you and I feed off of their vibe and it's a nice time. So this is a little glimpse of what a typical show looks like. Having audience participation is a big part of a belly dance show and it's nice when people are interactive because there is a bunch of times throughout my dance career where nobody wants to dance with you and you have to be able to just go through your show with no feedback which is very hard because with belly dancing you always want people to vibe with you whether it's clapping and standing up and dancing or just engaging just watching the show so I appreciate when customers get up and dance with me and also it's a great memory for them as well as I know you don't get to see belly dancers every day right it's definitely a treat so if you guys are wanting to have a dinner and a show try to get into your local restaurant that has a belly dancer and you just never know it just might be something that you might be into So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little glimpse of some parts of my shows this night. I'm glad I'm able to set up the camera so you guys can hang out with me. And of course, I was on my Manaish kick. So I ended my night with Manaish as well as a cup of Egyptian tea. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me as I go through Las Vegas life as a belly dancer. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe for daily uploads. Between the main channel and the vlog channel, you get a video each and every day. Shop small, jolohawaii.com. Mahalo to my Patreons for supporting my daily content. And I will see you very soon. Until next time, aloha from the beautiful Ninth Island, Las Vegas, Nevada.